Brilliant scientist killed by envious competitor. Terrible explosion during experiment. Underwater machine catastrophe. As far as we know, these were not ordinary accidents. We know the man who's behind this madness. Scientists must unite. We won't allow any more accidents. We will watch over the world, keep our inventions a secret, and use them to protect others. Exposition Universelle, 1900, Paris. A glance into the bright future of humankind. An opportunity for inventors to meet wealthy investors, for investors to find profitable inventions. And a haven for spies and villains looking for a high-tech advantage. I'm lucky to have gotten out of those dark affairs, but still I wonder, why is there so much greed and evil in the world? One day, I'll do something about it, but now I must hurry. I promised to take part in the final tests of my dad's invention, and I'm a little late. Pardonnez-moi. Hello, Dad. I'm right on time, am I not? You're late, my dear. It's high time you grew up and became more reliable. I know, Dad. I'm so excited. People will admire your invention, sending energy through the air. Admire or desire? I'm not sure they're ready for this. In any case, did you pick up the prism I ordered? Of course. I have it in my bicycle bag. Please bring it to the pavilion. It's time to begin the final test of the energy emitter. You've learned a lot in the last few years. You're ready to move forward now. I want you to be the one who starts the emitter for the first time and shows it to the audience. Dad, I don't know what to say. I'm so happy, but I hope you will help me. Of course I will, Emily. Are you ready? Turn the emitter on. I've prepared a step-by-step -step manual. It's near the control panel. You will need this magnetic key to unlock the prism socket. Take it. The lamp is blown? Replace it with the spare one from the chest. The code is 1279.
impulse was too strong. I hope we didn't destroy anything outside. Please, go and see if everything is okay out there. Well, I think everything is okay, and no one noticed anything. Miss, are you okay? You fainted. I'm Inspector Javert. You were unconscious for almost half an hour. I feel a bit dizzy, but I'm okay. My father, where is he? He was inside the pavilion. I'm so sorry. It's hard to believe, but the pavilion is empty. Everyone has disappeared. Witnesses say a sphere of light crashed through the pavilion's dome and moments later flew back into the sky. I inspected the pavilion. Everything has been destroyed, but no one was there. No dead, no wounded. I'm beginning an investigation. Could you provide me with a picture of your father? I have one in my apartment at Rue Mange. So, you say someone kidnapped all the scientists? It is possible. Someone interested in their work, perhaps. Please bring me a picture of your father.
Oh, this is Count d'Albignac. Your father is the other man, I presume? What is his name? We are the friends? My dad is Brian Patterson. I don't know the other man, but I found a letter. My father accuses him of kidnapping scientists. Are you sure? Miss, he's a well-known philanthropist, a backer of many inventors and artists. My father wrote that he is afraid of him, and now he's been kidnapped. Isn't that enough? I admit this is a clue. I never trusted the goodwill of this Dalbignac. One more thing. I saw him in the pavilion after the accident. He ran away when he saw me. All right, I'll look around in there again. Miss, you could check at the Eiffel Tower. He was seen there too. Are you interested in automobiles? This beauty is mine. This is an electric automobile, which... Sorry, but I'm looking for someone. Count Daubignac. I understand. You're not interested in humble young inventors. Do you see a balloon over there? Your count went there in a hurry not so long ago. I hoped to sell him my automobile. He pays a lot for good inventions and my car is really fast. Hey, if you meet him, tell him about me and my electric car. The name's Ferdinand Porsche. Do you see a balloon over there? Your count went there in a hurry not so long ago. Let's take a look. Yes, Dolbignac is there. Hey, I recognize this handkerchief. I gave it to my dad as a gift. Dolbignac has spotted me. He looks angry. Did he kidnap my father? He's going in. He must know where my dad is. He has his gown. The balloon is flying away. I must go after it. Is he flying away? Maybe that would be for the best. I have received the order to close this case. But you must go after him. Stop him. He has my father's things. I saw it. I can't, miss. The case is closed. It's a direct order from the commissioner. I understand your grief. And 
if I were you, I would begin a private investigation, but... Or would you chase a flying balloon with an automobile? Or would you chase a flying balloon with an automobile? You said your car was fast and you wanted to sell it? I need it. It's the fastest car on Earth. Unfortunately, something is wrong with the battery. Did you see that flying sphere of light? When it appeared, the battery in my car went dead. The battery? I can handle that. How much do you want? Let's say 5,000 and the automobile is yours. Let's say 5,000 and the automobile is yours. It's yours, but listen to me. Be careful if you're planning to chase Count d'Arbignac. There are some scary rumors about him. They say he can be very generous, but also very dangerous. May luck be with you. I see you've decided to chase d'Albignac after all. Officially, I can't help you, but personally, I think you are right. Be careful and don't fall into any traps. busy. I'm sending the signal to open the electromagnetic lock at your police box.
one, listen to me. We do not have much time, but... These are the sounds of the accident. Did my dad know something would happen? The balloon lights remind me of the sphere of light that kidnapped my dad. I'm catching up. Is Dalpignac landing? The lights are off. I hope he didn't notice me. This is suspicious. We're in the middle of nowhere. Wait, there's a path over there. I have to be cautious. It might be a trap.
Welcome. The documents you are reading must be very interesting. You didn't notice we left the ground. I saw a car chasing my balloon, and I was curious who it was. And look, Emily Patterson has fallen into my trap. Stay back. Calm down, dear. Your father's flying sphere impressed me in Paris. I am sure he will give it to me in exchange for your safety. He flew to Switzerland, didn't he? You won't use me to blackmail my father, and you won't get his inventions. Shoot thing works. I'm lucky I saw it schematic. The train. I have to catch it and get to Switzerland and find my dad. Oh no, I'm drifting away. I broke the telegraph line. I thought landing would be easier. Dalbignac survived. He said the flying sphere belongs to my father. What really happened in Paris? I thought I knew my dad, but I never heard about a flying sphere or a lab in Switzerland. I have to get there and find him. Hello there, my name is Gabrielle, but my friends call me Coco. Hello, I'm Emily. Are you taking this train? I'm waiting for the next one, but the telegraph line is broken and all the trains have stopped. Yes, I know. I need to get to Switzerland. Have you seen the station master? He went to get help. I had an incident with his dog just a moment ago. The dog grabbed my umbrella and ran away. I hope I get it back. Please take a seat. I'd love to, but I know what's wrong with the telegraph line. I'll try to repair it. Excuse me, sir. Where is this train going? We're going to Switzerland and then to Austria. But the telegraph line is broken and we have an engine failure. Some of the steam pipes have broken and we are in urgent need of a mechanic.
My umbrella. Thank you. I spent a long time finding an umbrella that matches my hat. Strange. My umbrella didn't have a handle like this. I suppose I can always remove it. By the way, I love the way you're dressed. So simple, yet still so womanly. I'm sure many women would love to wear something simpler. Please, take this handle. It's really not mine. Sitting in front of the locomotive gives me a headache. Have you got a painkiller? Sitting in front of the locomotive gives me a headache. Have you got a painkiller? Some of the steam pipes have broken and we are in urgent need of a mechanic. Those pills are huge. I need something to wash it down with. It would be great to have a cup of hot coffee. I'll try to get one. What a lovely brooch. Is it a shell? Do you like it? I got it from the station master. It would be great to have a cup of hot coffee.
Excuse me. Of course, miss. But I have a request, too. A dog grabbed my ticket puncher. Could you get it back for me? Thank you. Please, take the matches. I'm in your debt. 
you've helped me again. What's more, your look gave me an idea for new fashion design in women's clothing. Coco, may I ask you for that shell brooch you have? I need it. Of course. I remember you saying you liked it. Please take it. The semaphore is up. It's time to say goodbye, isn't it? Yes, I have to get on this train. My dad's life is in danger. Don't worry, everything will be okay.
Goodbye, Emily. Give me a hug. If you have any problems getting on this train, come to me and I'll help you. If you have any problems getting on this train, come to me and I'll help you. The telegraph line. I still need to get the token key. The token key is yours. The track is safe and we can go. Of course, miss. Can I see your ticket? A ticket? I haven't got one, but... I repaired your train, I repaired the telegraph line, and I really need to get to Switzerland. I appreciate your help, but I have to follow the rules. You need a ticket. Try to get one at the station, and please, hurry. You need a ticket. Try to get one at the station, and please, hurry. Coco, the conductor won't let me get on the train, and my dad's life depends on it. I'll chat him up while you sneak into the carriage, all right? Let's go. Coco is so nice. I hope her dreams about fashion design come true. Oh no, it's Dalbignac. Let her go, you brute! I'm lucky he didn't get on this train. I'll be in Switzerland before him. Wake up, miss. I don't know how you got on this train, but you're in Switzerland. All right, it's time to find my father's laboratory. So this is Kruslingen in Switzerland. Where to begin? I'll talk to this shopkeeper. You're Emily, aren't you? My name is Jacob. Surprised? Your father told me about you and showed me a picture. You know my dad? I'm looking for him. He disappeared and he's in danger. I haven't seen him for a few months. But yesterday I saw the lights on in his house. Maybe he is back. It's a big house in the square. Harthof 26. 
Wait, I have a request. The wind blew my head away. If you find it, please bring it back to me. Excuse me, what is that glass construction on the lake? It's Zeppelin's hangar. He's building an airship. Can you imagine that? I can imagine quite a lot. I'm Emily. And you? I'm Albert. I'm studying science in Zurich. The bobber is moving! Where's my landing net? Please hand it to me! The bobber is moving! Where's my landing net? Please hand it to me! Wait, I have a request. The wind blew my head. Thanks. By the way, I have a package for your father. Now, where is it? Please tell me, do you know my father well? I didn't know he had a house in Switzerland. I know he is a scientist and sometimes works here. He's a good man. It must be in my shed in the port, but I can't find the key. Here it is. I mean, the package, not the key. I still have to find the key to my shed. There are a lot of useful things in there. Take it. It's a key to my port shed. Keep it. If you need anything from the shed, just take it.
If you need anything from the shed, just take it. Wonderful fish. Do you want it? I'm not sure. I'm a scientist, not a housewife. A female scientist? Like Marie Sklodowska Curry? Maybe we could spend some time together. Maybe later. I'm looking for my father. He's in great danger. Give the fish to my uncle, the shopkeeper. He will help you. He knows everyone in town. It's alive! It's from Albert, isn't it? He's a student. I'm proud of him. And what about your father? Have you been in his house? I'm afraid he's not there. The house is locked. Strange. I'm sure I saw the lights on there yesterday evening. By the way, I borrowed this book from your father. Jacob, you said this book was from my father. Do you need it? Oh, that reminds me. It's probably unimportant, but Zeppelin asked about your father. Never mind. Take the book.
Good day, miss. Good day, sir. Are you Ferdinand Zeppelin? I heard about your airship. My name is Emily Patterson. Daughter of Professor Patterson. I'm dazed and confused. I was just looking for your father. Do you know anything about him? I'm looking for him too. No, we had some communication breakdown. I hoped he would be at his house. Please let me know if he comes back. And come to visit my airship, of course. You're Albert Einstein, aren't you? I need your help. Yes, I am. What can I do for you? I need your Alpha badge. I'm almost certain it's the key to my dad's laboratory. My badge is a key? Impossible. It's an honorable scientific distinction, not a key. Show me this laboratory. I'll go with you. Show me this laboratory. I'll go with you. You were right. My alpha badge will fit there, but I'm confused. It's not easy to get this award. I don't quite understand why I was given it. There are three other badges of this kind. Beta, Delta, Gamma, and I've never heard of one person having all of them. By the way, do you see those engraved magnetic field lines? I think you'll need a magnet too. Alright, take my badge. There's a secret passage. Dad, are you there? Wait, 
I have a bad feeling about this. Let me see if it's safe. Oh no, Albert! Wait, what are you doing? It's not my fault. You crept me. Never mind. We have to disarm those electric charges. I'll go to Zeppelin. He knows my dad. Maybe he'll help. You need a bow to visit Zeppelin. If you need any parts or tools, look around the city well. Welcome. Any news about your father? Unfortunately not. I would love to help, but I have my own problems. The electrolysis of the lake water is too slow to fill my airship with hydrogen. Perhaps that's because lake water is a poor electrolyte. Oh, you know about electrolysis? You could help me. Please come to my workshop. The door is open. Please come to my workshop. The door is open. I'm glad you will help me with electrolysis. Make yourself comfortable. I'm going back to the hangar. Jacob, Zeppelin ordered some salt at your shop. Is it ready? Sure, but it's in one big block. I'll put it on the counter. Maybe Zeppelin wanted the...
I believe you can speed up the electrolysis process. Albert, I'd like to enter alone. You know it's a secret and... I'll wait here. Confrontation with Dalbanyak is unavoidable. It will put Emily in danger, so I should leave her as soon as possible. She's grown up. She can handle it by herself. But I will miss her. It's my dad's voice. Our latest invention is the flying anti-gravity sphere. It can fly anywhere in the world within a few hours. First mission, Exposition Universelle in Paris. Some good scientists are being threatened by Dalbanyak. We must save them. I'll bring them here. 
to our secret headquarters. Its position is coded into the memory of my automatic globe. It's easy to use. You just need a compass and a code to tune the device. This time, we'll outsmart Dalvin yet. You'll need a compass. Look at my uncle's shed in the port. If you have a compass, you need to check the globe your father's mentioned it. You'll need a compass. Look at my uncle's shed in the port. The electrolysis is working, I see. By the way, have you seen my watch? I seem to have lost it. Albert, please come in. My father's in Siberia. I must get there, but it's so far away. Distance is relative, Emily. Maybe even time is relative. Who knows? If you could fly, you would get to Siberia much faster. Is Zeppelin's airship ready to fly? 
If you could fly, you would get to Siberia much faster. Is Zeppelin's airship ready to fly? If you could fly, you would get to Siberia much faster. Is Zeppelin's airship ready to fly? Have you seen my watch? I see you found my watch. Where was it? In my father's house. What were you doing in there? You shouldn't have asked. Don't move. Dolbenyak will want to talk to you. His airplane will land on the outskirts soon. Yes, an airplane. Into the workshop. I'm going to meet him. Don't take it personally. Dolbenyak forced me to work for him. You will stay locked in here until I return with him. Are you okay? My uncle said you might need help. Zeppelin turned out to be my dad's enemy. Keep watch to make sure he's not coming back. I have to get into his airship. You want to hijack the airship? I'll help you.
It's Dalbin Yak. Emily, I won't leave you. I'm flying too. You don't know what you're getting into. It's dangerous. All the more reasons for me not to leave you. Alexandra, they are stealing my airship. Yours? It was supposed to be my flying death machine. It will be a long flight, Emily. Siberia is far away. We're close. This is Tunguska River. We have to land on the other side. Albert, look at those clouds. They're gathering so fast. We need to land before... Albert, where are you? Are you alright? I'm not sure. I can't move and my leg hurts. Don't move. I'll try to get some light. As you can see, I'm a bit stuck.
As you can see, I'm a bit stuck. As you can see, I'm all right. Yes, Albert, of course. Keep it elevated and don't move. I'm cold. Could you get... Thank you. Look what I found. It's a shackle opener. Take... It's a I wonder Hello. I'm glad you survived the crash. Your father would do anything for your safety. It just so happens that I'm going to meet him now. You don't want me to hurt him, do you? So play nice and stay here. Speaking of hurt, do you remember Coco? She's in the hut, surrounded by explosives. Will you save her or try to stop me from reaching her father? I'm lighting up the fuse. Not a moment to spare. Oh no! Dalvinyak's airplane transforms into a snowmobile. And he's crossing the river. It'll be hard to catch up with him. Oh, Emily, Dalbiniak is a monster. He kidnapped me and forced to board his airplane. In Switzerland, he found out where your father was. We outran the airship and have been waiting for you. Oh, I'm starving. Oh, I'm starving. I'll tell you more, but please give me something to eat. Thanks. By the way, you look very chic in this trench coat. How is it possible that Dalbanya caused this storm? His airplane is equipped with a device he calls Stormbringer. He aimed it at your airship, then some kind of ray hit the sky and the storm appeared. Dalbanya told me he would kill your dad. You must stop him. I found an old blunt blade. Take it.
Can you dress my wound now? It's time to get out of here. Ready to help you. Let's find your dad. Not so fast. I met Dalbanyak out there. He imprisoned a friend of mine. Her name is Coco. I'll go after Dalbanyak, but you must set her free. Just show me the way. Just show me the way. It's not safe here with all the explosives around. I'll take care of Coco. Go, save your dad. Time to move on. Maybe I'm not as fast as Dalbanyak, but it doesn't matter. Oh no, the chain broke. Phew, I did it. I crossed the river. Still, I'll have to repair the ferry if I want to cross the river again. I can hear some voices. I should be careful. I'm tired of this funny organization of yours. Everyone to the crypt, move! Those are the scientists that work for my father, but where is he? Brian, you go back to the monastery. It's time to finish it. Don't worry, your inventions won't be wasted. The mighty of the world will pay me well for them. I must go after them, or Dalbanyak will kill my dad.
It's the hut. Albert, Coco. <laughs> Emily, we're alive. We managed to hide. Albert was a bit careless with the explosives. But what about your father? He's trapped in a capsule filled with some gas. Gas? You might need some smelling salts to revive him. I had a bottle, but I left my trunk in the hut. I'm afraid it's lost. Found it! All right, the smelling salts. Here you are. Wake up! Emily? What are you doing here? I thought Dalbanyak had kidnapped you in Paris, so I chased him. I came here to save you. Dalbanyak took the Flying Sphere, and the plans for all our inventions. He's going to sell them. They'll be used to wage wars, to kill and oppress common people. This is the end. He's won. I hid my diary from Dalbanyak. It's in the safe, behind the icon's frame. Check it, please. You must recreate the icon to unlock the safe. I have a piece of it. Take it. diary can wait. What's this? A schematic of some kind? Oh god! Dad, look there! Is this the radio control system for the Flying Sphere? Could we bring back Dalbanyak remotely? The system doesn't work. We had major problems with the calculations of the frequency. The radio isn't finished. Just forget it. I won't! We can still stop Dalbanyak! Take it! I know someone who's very good at complicated physics calculations. I'll go get him. I wish I was as optimistic as she is. But maybe she's right? Dad, meet my friends. Albert, he'll make the calculations. And Coco, she'll help me. Emily, you have to finish building the radio control system. I put its schematic on the device.
I'm Howard. We met in Paris. One of us is having a panic attack. He has claustrophobia. Let us out, please. But how do I open the door? My dear, I don't know. Can you get some sedatives at least? A chamomile tea would be good. Can you get some sedatives at least? A chamomile tea would be good. Thank you. Please, find a way to open this crypt. Of course, but first I need to trigger the Flying Sphere's radio control to bring Dalbanyak back. If you need some tools, look in my Sledge's seat compartment. Use this chip to open it. Thank you. Please, find a way to open this crypt. We finished. Albert is impressive. He made the calculations in his head. He had to. Look, he broke my last pencil. Dad, I don't need to know about your pencil. All right, you need to turn the radio on and set the frequency to 5 megahertz. When the connection is established, the oscillator will change. Then, just push the home button. Dad, something's wrong. I lost the connection with the Flying Sphere. So it's too late. Dalbanyak flew out of range of the radio control. No, it's not. Can't we extend its range? Talk to Howard. He knows everything about antennas. All right, I'll take Coco with me. I'm ready to go. Talk to Howard. He knows everything about antennas. Coco, I need your help. You saw how Stormbringer works. Is it hard to use? We'll need a weapon when Dalbanyak comes back. I'll try to activate it, Emily. Just give me some time. I need help. The Flying Sphere is out of range of the radio control. You need bigger antennas. I'll draw a schematic for you. Bring me a piece of paper and something to write. Dad, I need something to write with. Take a blank page from my diary. It's still in the safe. And take this pencil. Its tip is still broken.
I'll try to activate it, Emily. Just give me some time. I found the manual for Stormbringer. Unfortunately, it's not complete. Look for yourself. I attached it to the device. It's written in invisible ink. Invisible ink? So you'll need a special substance to reveal the text. All right, you can make antennas from the tower bells. You'll need some parts, so here's the key to my toolbox. The schematic is ready. Take a look and pick the key. Dad, it works! Will the flying sphere return exactly to its landing zone here? Its systems aren't so precise. Go outside and see where it will land. Emily, I'm going with you. What's your plan? I'll go there and you'll help Coco with Stormbringer. We need a weapon. The Flying Sphere landed, but I can't see an entrance. Dalbanyak didn't come out. It's not possible to open it from the outside. You would have to use a lot of energy, like hitting it with a lightning strike. I can do that, but you need to help me read the manual written in invisible ink. Talk to my team. Invisible inks are one of the scientists' favorite pastimes.
At last, fresh air. We'll keep watch for Diabonier. If he comes, we'll call you. My dad says one of you knows all about invisible inks. Hang on. He says ammonia is the most popular reagent for invisible ink. Here you are. Take it. Have to feed the device. There was an old Talbin. Don't come closer, or I'll shoot you. As you wish, but I recommend that you surrender. You can't fly away. I could take you as a hostage again. Didn't you consider that? Luckily, I don't have to. The radio control system your father invented is really impressive. Did you know it's a two-way system? I just used it to activate the monastery auto-destruct system. The monastery will blow up and I'll fly away. Now get lost and don't go back. Red lights? The monastery's auto destruct system has been activated. Dalbanyak managed to activate the monastery self destruction system. It's easy to deactivate, but first, you must open the bomb's lock. Then, you have to detach the cables. It's very important that you do it in the right order. The cables are colored and have some additional markings, too. Remember, the order is blue, red, white, black, yellow, and the last one is green.
I did it. Still, we're in a deadlock with Dalbanyak. But I have an idea. The monastery has its own secrets. I'm sure it's possible to find something to use against Dalbanyak. Have you seen that strange old book in the tower? We never managed to open it. Maybe that book is a clue to the monastery's secrets, if we could read it. Maybe that book is a clue to the monastery's secrets, if we could read it. The book in the tower describes some kind of magic weapon. We could use it against Dalbanyak. Emily, there's no magic. Magic is science we don't understand. But if you want to use magic against Dalbanyak, do it. Closer. This time I'll shoot you. Stop! You lost! You can't hurt me! What's that? What do you have in your hand? Emily, are you alright? Brian, now I have a proper target. I didn't want to hurt him, but he aimed at you and I... Is he crystallized? It looks like it. Maybe he's still alive in there. We should investigate this statue and this staff. Emily, there's a bag with all my documents on the table. Oh no, my ring! Emily, I dropped my ring on the table. Give it to me, please. I've seen the relief on top of the table. It's Mom's face. Yes, and it's the safety lock. I keep her last letter and the pendant she sent you in there. The atom symbols are the key to opening, but I lost them. Just give me the bag and this awful story with Dalbanyak will be finished. Come on, Dad. Let's tell everyone about our victory. Dalbanyak has been defeated. And it's all thanks to Emily. She believed in victory when I doubted it. And she discovered something extraordinary. We must examine this thing. You won't believe it, but this staff deflected Dalbanyak's bullets and turned him into a diamond statue. Unfortunately, the flying sphere was heavily damaged. It will take a lot of time to repair it. I want to thank you. I would surely have failed without your help. Yes, we've won. But it'll take a long time until we're able to leave this place and return to civilization. <laughs>